Here we go. The kickoff of the Madden Club Championship here in Landover, Maryland for the Redskins. And that's out of position Michael Vick. Well, Juke can jive his way to the 33, and we're actually going to see some real kickoffs today. RG, I know you're out there, buddy. There's no scum kicks today. And I know he is incredibly <laughs> happy. That put a lot of pressure on people trying to return that. They did not want any part of those. Of course, we're going to see some Josh Norman for goes. We're going to see, you know, and a lot of people don't know this, that uh, Paul Krause actually played a few years here in Washington. I know. Uh, in, in the game, he represents the Vikings, but there's a long list of guys. We'll go over a lot of the guys that have have donned the, the Redskin unis here in Washington. Yeah, this is not the way Some of the greatest to ever play the game. First and 10 from the 33 for the great Gatsby. This is a key drive for him to get off to at least a good start. Can't go three and out. Not at all. He already said he knows he needs to be able to keep up with Goza's offense. He can't afford himself to fall behind and he says as I always say this is not the NBA threes are not your way to a championship so first and ten at the 33 play clock running down thick handed off to Leonard Fournette the former LSU Tiger will go ahead for five Fournette's been looking good <laughs> in the real NFL he's looking good right here in Madden. Yeah, how about those Jacksonville Jaguars? Of course, they got Tom Coughlin as one of their uh, mentors down there in Jacksonville. Maybe some trouble for Brady. Yeah, he's definitely the Brady stopper. Second and five at the 38. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Got Shannon Sharp in there as one of his tight ends. He's also got Krause running around out there. That's the magic of Madden right now. I mean, you might see Bo Jackson at left tackle, but he's actually at tight end. Or kicker. We've seen some, <laughs> we've seen some kicker Bo Jacksons. Mike Vick. That's he, where I made my Madden. He I might made be my a reason name. for coming back. Yeah, that, that's, that's actually, Mike Vick has inspired me. I've been working on a few things. Yeah. I, I was lucky enough to get my hands on one of those great Xbox One Xs. So uh, I've, I've been in the lab a little bit. Uh, look for me to be bringing that Vic out soon. And that's also why I went with my rock solid Sammy pick. Two great tight ends for great Gatsby here on third and five. At Delaney Walker and Shannon Sharp. Of course, Wallace and Krause on the outside with Fournette in the backfield. Big third down. Vic slings it. Can't pull it in. That's going to bring up a fourth down, and he's got a decision at the 38. He had a decision on that last play. He could have scrambled around with Vic, picked up that first down, and moved those sticks. Instead, he tried to get it all on one play, and now he's facing a fourth down situation. Fourth and five now for Gatsby, a.k.a. Sammy. Great book. Let's see if he can make some reads here. You ever read The Great Gatsby, or are you more of a, you're more of a movie guy? I'm not going to lie to you, sport. <laughs> <laughs> the great Gatsby I know involves DiCaprio. Well, Ghost <laughs> can't believe it. Picks up the first down. Just one of three for Vic, but that's enough to give him a new set of downs. One of the things that Ghost has had issues with is being able to fight through the negative things. But he has Joke with him here, yep. and we know Joke has made a huge 180 from not being able to handle adversity to being now one of the most cool, calm, collected Madden players that we have in our community. Except on his Twitter feed. <laughs> <laughs> joke is no joke on his Twitter feed at all. But congratulations, yeah, to him. Echo Fox. He just signed with Echo Fox. So that's a uh, big deal. We're having some conversation here. After that first down, Goes has brought the our match official over from ESL to have a conversation, maybe about some of the settings. Yeah, I think he was uh, wondering. He kicks his field goals. <laughs> no, no, no. That's one. That's one. <laughs> oh, no, I was like seven in. I'm seven in. He put his best foot forward. He wanted to kick off the game, right? Like, we, we definitely keep going. All right, Chad's got to keep up with that. Here in Landover, Maryland, Scott Cole along with Rico Williams here in our final club championship on the road. The rest of the 21 teams, of course, 32 in total, will convene down at the Pro Bowl next week. 
32 players. They actually will have 85. Uh, 84 will try to get down to 32. Then eight of those will go to the Super Bowl in Minnesota, which maybe the Vikings will actually be <laughs> yeah. playing a home game. It's going to be interesting. If the Vikings make it, obviously most of the Viking fans are already there. I would actually like to see the Eagles make it. Not only just for Dubby, but I could love to see those Eagles fans in Minnesota during the Super Bowl. Of course, there in Philly, you got Figgy and S. Dello as well. They'll be down in Orlando representing the Eagles. The winner of this whole thing is going to represent your Redskins at the Pro Bowl. No big deal. It's just, you know, just 1.15 million Madden tournament for this year. No big deal. Here's what I don't understand right now with Sammy. What's the purpose of getting Vic if you're not going to use him? Right now, Goes has given him six to eight yards every time he wants it. He can take around that left-hand side. He's still trying to force that route. For two straight incompletions, third and down for Vic. And he finds Leonard Fournette out of the backfield in plus territory down at the 40-yard line. He's moving the sticks, but that's a tough way to make a living. You don't want to have to keep making those reads if you don't have to. Ronnie Lott, the 49er legend, on the tackle. One of the toughest guys to ever play. Which finger did he actually take the tip off? Is it the ring finger? I think it was his left ring. First and ten. Yeah, just snip it off. <laughs> just snip it off. You won't, you won't find that happening now. Second and twelve after the loss on first down. Gatsby still with the ball. You know, part of it is just he's playing a little ball control game right now. He's trying to keep Goza's offense off the field. That's one of the best ways to stop him. Some motion here on second down. Vic, the lefty, swings it to the outside. He overthrows Wallace on the nine route. Had him wide open, just couldn't get the ball there. But once again, he still has not yet run with Vic. And you can even see Goes is not spying him himself. He's covering up those routes over the middle, trying to take away that seam. He needs to keep him honest. And maybe that'll open up some of those other reads down the field. Didn't have the touch there on second down. Could have been six. Third and 12. Pick goes to Wallace. Big hit. That's Bo Jackson in the secondary. You're going to see Bo Jackson everywhere. Bo knows running back. Bo knows <laughs> quarterback. Bo knows tight ends. Bo knows receivers. Bo knows kickers. Now, Bo Jackson, you know, we, we see a lot of wild out of position players. I still believe that Bo Jackson could do just about anything. 55 yarder off the post, but good. Now it went beyond that, the crossbar and came back out. If that would have been goes, would he have been that lucky? Was it an eight? <laughs> eight now? You told me the, the the over under was what 22 and a half? Yep, no pushes here. Short kick to the 30. After the field goal, that's where goes. We get to go to work with 203 remaining in the quarter. You know he has to feel good getting that what we want to call a half stop. <laughs> you can borrow one of yours terms on that opening drive. Sammy really needs to keep him from getting seven here, or else once you're playing catch up, you don't want to be that way against goes. You can see a lot of mobility. Four different quarterbacks represented today. It's going to be Marcus Mariota, the former Oregon Duck, will be at the helm for goes. Quick blitz. Drops it off to Herschel Walker. Of course, won the Heisman in 1982 with the Georgia Bulldogs. Poor Georgia. They got rolled. <laughs> I mean, I'll be honest. You know, Alabama knocked out Clemson, so I was rooting for Georgia in that game. Looked like they had it locked up. Didn't happen for the Bulldogs. Second and five, and that looked like false start. And they actually say, you had a jump along the line, so it's going to be second and inches for goes. Just Ridley? No, no. I mean, you got to wait for the call. <laughs> it's like real. It's like real football. You don't know who the actual movement was, but I saw the the right tackle take off. I didn't go. I haven't gone full Larry yet. I'll, I'll be the first to admit it when I get there. <laughs> second and inches at the 47. Goes trailing by a field goal. Mariota to Wallace and just like that he's down at the 31. Now we have this 
Mario. That's what I was about to ask you. Right? We're going to ask the chat. Yeah, dude. Okay, chat. Do you pronounce his name Mariota or Mariota? It's kind of Mar like the Super Mario. Mario versus Super Mario. And you're Mario and I'm a Mario. I'm a Super Mario guy. You're Super Mario. If you think it's Super Mario, push one. If you think it's Super Mario, push two. And we're going to let the Twitch, I mean, the Twitch chat yeah. figure it out. It's Mariota. You know, I was working out the NFL Network. I ran into Steve Mariucci, former Niners head coach. Of course, he was with Green Bay when Favre was there. You know, he actually said, it's not Mariucci, it's Mariucci, but he doesn't correct anybody. So, sort of like tomato, tomato. Yeah. Down at the 12-yard line goes just casually here on a Saturday, working his way down the field. He's now in the red zone, trailing by three. Somebody in the Twitch chat referred to him as Barry Gota. <laughs> I don't know that he looked like the goat last weekend. <laughs> well, he threw a touchdown pass to himself uh, and that's two tough. weeks ago. That was pretty good. That's not going to be able to drag the foot for Mike Wallace. You know, Steve Young was talking about, who's Steve Young's now in the game again, um, and the Madden Ultimate team. But he's like, I got so close. He he caught one and got tackled at the one. Almost got in there. I think Brad Johnson was the only other quarterback that ever done it. Wow, Brad Johnson. That's a when he was with Minnesota. Yeah. <laughs> Second and ten. Double tight end. 29 seconds left here in the first. Semifinal number one. Here from Landover, Maryland. And Mariota's gonna be sacked. If, if here goes, you can't take that sack right there. It's mean Joe Green coming right up the right <laughs> up the middle though. You need seven here because you don't want to be forced to try to take three. <laughs> Third and 15. Someone's got to keep a counter here. We did decide that if goes the favorite in this thing ends up winning it that we will finally let the kick jokes go. But here's his first test. Yes, we're going to see. <laughs> <laughs> You got it has to play in your mind. He's thinking about it. He's, I'm he's sure definitely thinking, thinking about, about it on right every now. kick. For those that don't know, they're watching on Redskins.com. Goes had a missed kick at a major that cost him the game, but he's right down Main Street on this one. And at the end of the first quarter, it's all knotted up at three. If Sammy has to feel good about that, he had a lot of opportunities on his drive. Didn't capitalize, but he was able to hold it was his high powered offense to a field goal. Now he needs to get in that end zone. There's Mike Vick out to the 29 yard line. You know, Gatsby has the opportunity, took a lot of time off on his first drive, nearly three minutes and change. Has an opportunity here to maybe run out this clock, get it close to half. By the way, a little swag on the controller there. <laughs> Rocking the red and yellow. He, Sammy's definitely feeling himself right now. He knows that he can play with anybody in America. He wants that same recognition. And the best way to get it is by going through goes. Oh, yeah! Second and seven. Here for Gatsby. Goes really mixing up the defenses. Here in that first quarter. Had a couple opportunities to punch great Gatsby off the field. Failed to do so. Back to the running game. And Leonard Fournette got away from one. And able to pick up a few yards. Here comes a third and four for great Gatsby. You would have thought he would have been able to run the ball a little bit more effectively. But goes to seem to have that run on lock right now. Maybe if he started using Vic a little bit more, that would open up and change the defensive looks he was getting. That was one of the things I used to love about playing with Michael Vick. People on defense, once they start getting nervous, they just start calling anything and everything. And once you set somebody to spy him or contain him, now your whole defensive premise is thrown off. Bringing the blitz, able to get outside to Fournette, and here comes a fourth down on his own 34. What you gonna do here, Rico? Oh, we're going for it. There's, that's why you get Michael Vick to give you a bailout. So he's gonna be able to have his options on his regular play, and he's also gonna have Michael Vick as an option. He just needs to make sure his hot read 
is right because there may be pressure set. Fourth and five. Switch, switch, switch. Going for it here on his own end of the field, but you do that in Madden because you get so many less possessions in a five minute quarter game. And Mike Wallace able to get free out to the 46. And once again, Goes cannot stop Gatsby on fourth down. That was a clutch play. And it looks like he almost broke that tackle. If he'd have broke that, that could have been six. Mike Wallace always seemed to never, never really played big on a Sunday, but a, you get him on a Monday night or a Thursday night, <laughs> like Mike Wallace would be balling out. Good play action there. Vic rolling to his weak side and for the first time does fumble it, but it goes out of bounds. Going to depend on the spot. It's going to be second in inches, but there's some of that running that you were talking about. Finally, he went to the wrong side. He had the left side open all that first drive. The only thing I don't like is you cannot let your Vic take those kind of hits. Make sure he get out of bounds next time. There's no need to even take that kind of chance. High formation, double tied in. On second in inches and plus territory, and he'll try to sneak it with Vic. For a second there, they still haven't touched him, but he's going to pick up the first and dead. A yeah. wild series of events, but that'll move the chains. If we would have had casters back in my day, <laughs> that would have been, you would have heard that every play. Oh, he's going to sneak it with Vic. <laughs> oh, here comes another Vic quarterback sneak. <laughs> this is kind of the first year with a quarterback sneak that it's not a guarantee. <laughs> hey, it's, it's, it's a couple hey, inches. That's all you get. Sneaky, sneaky, sir. Very, very sneaky. And Fournette. As the Red Sea parts now at the 35 yard line, that's going to put him in a good situation. Can't right. Take a sack. Right now, Goes has to be a little nervous. He came in here as the favorite. He expected to go quick. He said he was going to get it done. He felt really confident going into it. I think he's starting to realize he's having trouble stopping Sammy. He's only touched the ball once. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's the big equalizer to a strong offensive player. We see a lot of guys do that when they play young Kiv. You just kind of want to take the air out of the football. We're already down to the two minute warning. Second and one. It's that 3 3 5 front. But a good stop there on third and one. A little bit of block shed, and Williams able to wrap him up short of the first down. Sammy has to come away, AKA the Creek Gatsby. Has to come away with seven here. Goes is going to get the ball back to start the second half. You need to have a full touchdown lead. Third and one. Let's go. See if he decides to dive it or maybe stretch it outside. Play clock running down. 90 seconds left in the half, and he's blown up. Now you got to make a decision. He already made a 55 yarder. I think he's going to take the three here. I'm sure. Fourth and two where he's at. <clears throat> and it's blocked. Goes blocks a kick. He, he scooped it up. He's at the 30, the 20, the 10. And why not spin into the end zone? Ronnie Locke scoops it for six. That's all Sammy right there. Yeah, you get your kick blocked, trying to go deep. And he's kicking himself right now, pardon the pun because he knows fourth and two with Michael Vick and that offense, he was not supposed to take three there. He needed to go for that. You had a second and one, a third and one, and he gets stifled on both of those. He goes for the first time as seeing a field goal situation go his way. And now all of a sudden he's got a seven point lead with a non offensive touchdown. As you can tell, he's been laughing the field goal on both sides. <laughs> I should have taken the over. You're, you're purposely going way over. <laughs> Hands it off to Fournette. Now the pressure's on. You, you got three timeouts. You got to come down here and try to tie this thing up before the half. Goes is too good of a player to allow him to be up seven, getting the ball back. He's got B open and Polly Kraus playing both ways down to the 30. He's going to keep those timeouts. Big time strike there from Great Gatsby. He needs to. Uh oh, he's finally able to get some back, get to the outside with Fournette. 
He needs to abandon that run game. <laughs> I know that everybody this year wants to run in man. When you have Michael Vick and you're facing this kind of defense, he is your run game. Just take the four to five yards each down until they get out of that defense, and then you can pick him apart. Worth noting, goes will get the ball at the half. So a key possession here for Gatsby. Making the cross-country trip. Good tackle there by Amos. Going to bring up a third and two. Back to the line. He's got two timeouts. We'll go to the air. Look for the drag there. No, he's going to high point it. And Krause can't hang on. Had the first down on the drag. And once again, a foiled third down. And once again, he's taking three when he shouldn't. Now the pressure's going to be on. Once we get to halftime, he's going to have to try to hold Goes on that opening possession if Goes doesn't put some magic together here in the final 15. And, and that's what you have to worry about here as well. Goes' expl explosive offense can strike from anywhere on the field, so you have to be aware you don't want to get Saint, sainted? <laughs> how do you want to? How do you want to refer to that? I, you know, I don't even know. I, my head's still reeling from that Diggs play. All I said was, hey, you know, Williams doesn't have 91 zone coverage, <laughs> and he went for the big hit stick, took his own guy out. That was a wild. That was one of the wildest plays I'd seen. And here's a sack. If I'm goes, I just let the clock run out here. Unless you want to try to put one run on the ground and see if you break one. When you have Herschel Walker, you got to give him the ball. You got to be the horse just in case. But I wouldn't take a chance of throwing the ball at all. It's going to go to the air. Picks up the blitz. Throws it downfield. Grant will not be able to pull it in. And that's how the half will come to a close. Ten to six. Do you see the way Sammy is looking at goes? He is so angry right now, but he should be looking at himself that way because that kick is what separated this game. He knew he was in control of it, but he's letting it get away from him. It got down in field goal range three times, able to convert on two of three, but it was the big block kick by goes and Ronnie Lott with a scoop and the score. Now, I, I knew this game was going to come down to a kick being the difference maker, and I knew it, but I would have never guessed that would have been involved goes blocking it to take control of this game. Well, they put a mechanic in the game that if you kick it perfectly, you won't be blocked. Not enough people practice that. And it's come back practice. to practice. It's come back to <laughs> it's come back to bite them here in this one. And hey, you make a cross country trip from West Covina and you're you're down four, and it's based on a kick. Let's take a look at these first half highlights in this one. Your score is 10 to 6 in favor of Goes. And it was started off early with an early field goal by Gatsby. Yep, Sammy came out on that first drive, got that three. But not to be outdone, Goes came right back, tied the game up. He wanted seven, but took that three to tie it up. That was the end of the first quarter, and you could see him shaking his head, saying it was awful, but it was all smiles on a block kick and then scooped up. Night Train Lane got the block. Ronnie Lott on the legendary kick block to put him up by seven. And you got to like the fact that he showed off a little bit, uh, a little showboating as he went in the end zone, a little spin. <laughs> yeah, I mean, come on. I, I, I don't want to bring up scheming or bam every time, you know, people start <laughs> swagging near the end zone there. But, you know, 99 times out of 100, it, 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 it is worth it. Yeah. <laughs> it is worth it to swag a little bit. 10 to 6 right now. Scott Cole, Rico Williams here in Landover, Maryland at FedEx Field. Of course, we have Larry Michaels, the voice of the Redskins. He's hanging out with us. Santana Moss, all pro from the U back in the day. Uh, been, you know, played 10 seasons here, and it's cool a to have. A couple with my J-E-T-S, Jets, Jets, Jets. I know. I, I figured at some point you'd bring up the guy that drafted the Jets. It's, it's long over for you. Second half coming your way here in a four-point game. This is going to be a key possession for both of these guys. Ghost is going to get the kick. You can only give up three here. you gotta, you got to keep it a one-possession game if you're Gatsby. 
this drive is going to dictate how this game winds up. If Goes goes up two scores, Sammy's going to have to change his whole play calling, his whole scheme to try to come back. He's trying to dictate with a ball control offense, keep his offense off. But if Sammy can get the stop or hold him to three, he's back in business now and just needs to hold serve. Second half coming your way here in semifinal number one. We got Buck Sweep taking on Legend. That game coming up next. Of course, the winner of those will meet in the finals. The overall winner will be heading to Orlando, the Pro Bowl, to represent the Washington Redskins. All 32 teams will be down there. And yes, Redskins fans, you'll have an opportunity to beat the guy from the Cowboys once you get to Orlando as Delaney Walker moves it to the 31. Bend but don't break is not going to work on this one. <laughs> You're going to need to actually be a little bit more aggressive on this one, Gatsby, if you want to keep in this game, Sport. So SDW, he's already going to be down there with the Giants. You got S. Dello and Figgy with the Eagles. For serious mode, didn't make the Cowboys run. And that's why it goes. Goes. Does he still play? <laughs> that's why it goes, Phils. You're going to get an angry tweet. Goes feels that you know if, if he can represent the Redskins he feels strong he's got to make it to the final eight in Orlando to have an opportunity for the ultimate league and here's a bomb to Grant and goes with his first offensive touchdown of the game shakes his head because he feels like should be more than just a two possession win yeah he, he didn't feel that Sammy deserved to be on the same field as him he said he feels that he's playing the best ball of his life right now, and nobody here was stopping him from getting to Orlando. And truth be told, as it looks, he might be right. Three plays, 42 seconds. Goes Madden. Already up 11 here, two possession game. Of course, Gatsby can come down here and still get a field goal, still make it a one possession game, but at some point you're gonna need to stop or a turnover. You're gonna need something. You need magic to happen, and you need it to happen soon and often. Let's go. Love the jerseys, by the way. Each of these club championships we go to, swag them up in those official NFL jerseys. That was amazing. Legend was talking about that, and he said his favorite team is gonna become the Redskins. A nice playmaker, the Kraus. So you got Vic, you finally that's got Vic. Vic on the edge and was able to make a play. And that's how he should have been using him all game long. But when you have a quarterback like Vic, you're never out of a Madden game. Of course, Goes has been bringing a lot of pressure from the middle while playing contain on the outside. So it's easier said and done at times. Well, nothing is easy about this run game that Gatsby's trying to do. Goes has that whole thing locked up. By the way, Night Train Lane in that 81 with the with the two bar, he sort of looks like Art Monk <laughs> there running around that Redskins jersey. Looks awesome. Second and ten, of course, Art Monk in the Redskins Hall of Fame. You think of and it's a fumble picked up and Goes will score. You know Sammy's birthday is Sunday. Gatsby's <laughs> birthday is Sunday. Too bad the uh, gift he got is not going to be a trip to Orlando. 24 to 6. I'm thinking this is a fumble. I, yep, it is a fumble. I, I thought it possibly could have been an interception because it never hit the ground, but he was fumbled as he was throwing in Whitehead. <laughs> Was able to take it in for six, and now if you're Gatsby, you're on full tilt. Yeah, right now you're just trying to make this game respectable. You have your lady in the crowd. You're celebrating your 30th birthday. You, you just want to be able to talk about this one <laughs> later and not be completely uh, blown out. Do you know if he can swim? The quote the big time is, don't worry about your girl, she's coming with me. Because <laughs> <laughs> he's definitely getting flooded. Second and nine. Trailing by 18. Blue 58. Blue 
He was kicking a field goal to take the lead. And all of a sudden, the wheels fell off. Some special teams play and then a defensive touchdown as Julius Peppers gets to the quarterback. That's not Julius. <laughs> That's not Julius at all. That's the rookie. Third and 18. Of course, Jabril Peppers, absolute freak up, <laughs> up at Michigan. He missed to do it all. He's had a tough time sort of finding his way this year in the NFL because he is. He's, I'm not saying he's a master of none, but he can do But he's a, a jack of all trades. Yeah, he can do a lot of things good. <laughs> Obviously, Julius Peppers is 6'7, six, 6'8. Six, six, Let's go! Carolina Tar Heel played on the basketball team. Fourth and forever. Vic. And Mike Wallace can't hang on, and now Ghost Madden's going to have the ball at the 25-yard line. He could have ran for that first down on the right-hand side. There was 22 yards? There. there was nobody there. He could have got he could have got kibbed. <laughs> Instead, he went for the, the killer Mike, and we see what happened there. First and 10, Courts Drini, Kiv, Joke, who's in the building, and Skimbo have already locked themselves in to the Madden Ultimate League. That's where... 16 Madden players will be going through a full season. It's going to be a wild trip. That gets going in February and ends in April. Yeah, it kicks off at the Super Bowl, doesn't it? Pretty much the, the, the end of the club championship will sim, you know, symbolize the start of the Madden Ultimate League. Second and goal from the eight. But we got Buck Sweep and Legend coming up next. Talked about Buck Sweep just being locked in, Rico. They took the they took the players down on the field to take a photo. Buck Sweep was like, nah, I'm good. <laughs> you got one. So the rest of them are on uh, the Redskin social media on Twitter. Buck Sweep's like, nah, I'm good. I'm gonna stay here and keep working on my roster. Maybe Sammy should be the same. <laughs> and Herschel Walker. Just shy of the goal line at the one yard line. They'll put it at the half yard line, third and goal. I go for it on both of these. I don't I don't kick this. I don't get a chance to get a block. <laughs> you gotta love that. Now, you gotta love the look on Sammy's face. He is still focused. He's still locked in. He is trying to keep fighting. I know one nine is somewhere looking, hoping, wanting. Needing him to pull this out. Yeah, two plays not go your way. Block kick and then the fumble, both for touchdowns. And Herschel Walker will barrel himself into the end zone. Of course, he was at the uh, national championship game. He was also at the SEC championship. Saw him out at LA at the NFL Network. Still looked like he could play. <laughs> I bet he can. Of course, did some UFC. That big UFC stuff going on right now. What was it, 800? push-ups and a thousand sit-ups a day he used to do like that still he... surpasses my career total yeah I don't think he's had a carb since 83 his his daily regiment surpasses my career total in any of those calisthenics so here's the million dollar question and I know you're an ACC guy sure but single, 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 it's an single, SEC question Bo go. or Hershey who is the better college running back? College running back? Herschel Walker. Up until recently, he led the ACC in all-time yardage. It's tough, though. It's tough. I'm not saying it's easy because, you know, Bo Jackson, you know, somebody put out there who do you think the best athlete of all time is in sports. Bo Jackson was my, was my choice. Do you know? Now, here's a really interesting conversation we're going to have. Do you know who my choice is for the best athlete I've ever seen? Jim Thorpe. No. <laughs> that you North Brunswick's own Tim Howard. Tim Howard. Tim Howard goes, went to his high school. He could have went major D1 in basketball or football. And then you never yeah, know what could happen. Big, tall guy. Uh, he, he was amazing. I played against him. Amazing. 
but he went soccer and has gone down as the greatest goal that we've ever had. The Secretary of Defense could play in any of those sports on that major level. It's just that he chose that. But then after that, I think you got to go Dion over Bo. Dion over Bo. Yeah, prime. I mean, prime time. Prime time is a great baseball player. So is Bo. But Dave Green Dion was a better football player. Dion, a better football player than Bo Jackson. I think Bo edged him out in baseball by, let's say, a five unit margin. I think Dion's NFL career outlasted Bo's by at least a 20 to 25 unit margin. This is the st this is the talk we have. And the score is 31 to six. But Dion was basically a pinch runner for the Braves. He stole a lot of bases. He he, he that, hit. He, oh, that's what he, he covered. He covered the whole field. No, no, he also played defense as well. He didn't run up any walls like Bo Jackson did. Okay, chat. <laughs> if Bo Jackson is the better athlete, press one. If Deion Sanders is the better athlete. Press two. You sound like movie fun. You know. Press one if you'd like to see the English patient. <laughs> Press two if you'd like to see Jumanji. Well, Goes is absolutely starting to put salt in the wounds here. He's got first and goal from the one. 422. Less left here in the fourth. Buck sweep and legend up next. If you're Buck sweep or legend, what are you thinking right now? If you if you if you win your game, you, you're facing a buzzsaw next. The only thing you can say to yourself is, I think I'm better than Sammy. I think I'm better than Gatsby, so this won't happen to me. But you got to tip your hat to Ghost. Shout out to Reality Win, who just reached out of Jack, said he'd hate to see Sammy getting flooded like this. Yeah. The West Coast really had hopes that he was going to come over here and get it done. Just didn't go his way in the, today. In the southern, you know, Southern California, you're not used to all this rain. You know what I mean? When the when the waters start rising. <laughs> Second and goal at the one yard line, and he, and he might sneak it four times here, just to keep that clock on the move. They say it never rains in Southern California. Well, it sure does flood. That's what Tony, Tony, Tony told me. Yes. Second and goal. We've completely lost control here. Yeah. Under three and a half to go, and why not? Counted a touchdown. Going to be 38 to six, pending the extra point. This is where that, you know, sometimes you see this thing that comes up that says "tough game." <laughs> Question mark. Yes. This is this is where you try to get the friendly quit. <laughs> yeah, like oh man. Uh. And that's why you had the skunk rule back in the day, right? You either rerun it. Or you go outside and cry for about five minutes. This is where, if you were playing your cousin, you actually get up and you kick the system. <laughs> and you actually turn it off. Like, oh, we got to start over. The game wasn't over. So 38 to 6. Gatsby at one point had the lead. But it's only managed to scrape out 77 yards. Back to four net. And that run has really been boxed up. Oh, yeah. I, I'm wild would be going wild if he was here watching this. It's it's a box. It's a rhombus. It's a parallelogram. It's every other shape you can think of. Well, right I'm now. wild won the Jacksonville Club Championship. I was on a game day. That was cool. Patriots were in town. Let's go. And uh, I think he's already retired. <laughs> like. He's like, nah, but you know, we've all said that, right? Michael Vick takes off, able to juke Night Train Lane. That'll bring up a third and six. Vince Lombardi was a coach here. I think it was 1967. And they won three of the trophies. Let's go! If you had to guess, do you think Gatsby scores or does Go score again? If you had to pick one. Goes scoring again. <laughs> Don't mean to be savage. And it's put together a good roster here. 900 is the cap that these guys are playing under. Let's go. Punched up to the left. Fourth and six. Got caught up in traffic, but Mike Wallace going to pick up the first down. He should have been making these reads and moving around with Vic this entire game. I, I can't wait to talk to him to find out. I wonder, I don't know if they're going to be the winner or the loser, but I'll be curious to see why did he use Vic like that? I and mean, if that was the case, why take him if you're not going to run with him? 
Fournette now. That's the interesting thing about the 3-3-5 three, three, Tampa 2. At times you can really just leave your line on aggressive. It's really tough. You almost got to keep some max protection and even then someone's going to come screaming. Second and four at the two minute warning. Let's go. I'll tell you who's played huge. It goes. That's Lamar Woodley. It seems like everybody's played well for him. <laughs> well, Lamar Woodley has pretty much shut down the right side of that running game. Anytime he's tried to stretch it outside, Woodley has been right there. Third and four for Gatsby. Can't get rid of it. And this time it's Brown coming through with a sack. Fourth and nine. The Boo Birds are out here at FedEx Field. <laughs> at least the other Redskins are winning. Oh my gosh. Fournette. Can't hang on on fourth down and with 97 seconds left in this one. We'll see if Goes Madden decides to bend the knee. And he will and we'll see if Gatsby We'll let this run out. Chew clock, bend the knee. Let's move on to semifinal number two as Goes Madden has been dominant. Yeah, that, that Legend Bucks Week game is going to be a very, very interesting one. Legend said he's known as a defensive player, but he likes his offense right now. He feels like he's solid on both sides of the ball, and he's already told his wife, I'm going to get this <laughs> done for you. Both of these guys have promised their wives that they're going to get it done for him. One's going to walk away a winner, and then might just walk away. <laughs> Well, for Gatsby, we have some parting gifts. He's going to walk away with a thousand. He already has the at-home version of the game. And there is Herschel Walker, who, well, yeah, why not? And that'll t take the play clock under 30 seconds. That's why he did that. That was that'll be timing. the final play. Fourth and 24, but these guys are going to shake hands. At one point, it was back and forth there early, halfway through the second, and then a block kick change the narrative and goes goes on to a big win if somebody would have told you before the game that this all came down to a block a, a kick a, mal, a kick malfunction changed the entire tide of this so game. he just won 38 to 6 we, you're still not gonna let it go no no i'm actually saying he's exercised <laughs> that demon i'm saying he's got he's totally brushed it off and now he's put it behind him and now he means business this is the best i've seen those look in his man well i mean you you talk you mean a top five top ten is what a lot of players are saying out there. Of course, on some of the challenger events, just didn't have some things go his way. You got to remember, Trini, who right now people yeah. are talking about the hottest right now, goes got him in Philly. That's right. Yeah. So he showed that he can play with anyone and everyone. And right now, sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. And he's both. 38-6 victory in semifinal number one. Let's go to the winner. All right, Ghost. Well done, man. 38-6, you win it. How'd you get it done? Uh, my defense got it done. He was managing clock early, so I didn't really get the ball too much. I had one possession early, and and then I had the block kick, and then after that, I got the ball, and then I started rolling. You're right. I was impressed with how much pressure you put on uh, their quarterback in that in that game. I mean, it was from beginning to end. Yeah, I was sending everybody. The, the thing about this game, it's so hard to play offense, so very select amount of people can do it. So I'm sending a lot of pressure. I'm making people make quick decisions. How do you feel advancing to the final? I feel good, but uh, job's not done. I got to win first, and then I'll feel good. Did you look at this belt? Did you see this belt? I mean, you could win that belt, so go rest up. Great job, man. Well done. All right, let's go back to the guys. And right, thank you so much. Of course, the voice of the Redskins, Larry 